Hi guys, and welcome once again to Prison Architect. So we left off last episode having just started building the uh, main body of my prison. Um, I want to get into a little bit more fine detail in this episode with the visitation rooms at least. Now, something that I didn't check before I started building um, was sort of the length of my rooms. Now, if I put these visitation booths all the way along, I'm left with a single gap at the end because I've built my room an odd number, uh, which is slightly annoying. Um, however, looking at these booths, I mean, they are tiny compared to the massive room that I've made. So I had the idea of spinning these around and building it in a slightly different way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have these visitation booths all the way up along this wall. Then I'm going to spin this round and have these this one. Oh. There we go. Like that. Which, yeah, looks a little odd. But I'm then going to be using concrete walls to guide my visitors around here into this area and a concrete wall there to stop the prisoners getting through to this area. So now I've effectively, uh, effectively doubled the amount of prisoners that can be in the visitation room at once. Which I think is an awesome way of doing it and I think it looks good. It will keep all the visitors in one area and all the prisoners will still be safe within my prison. So I really like how that looks, uh, and I'm hopefully thinking that you guys think it looks good as well. Now these rooms should be exactly the same size, so I should just be able to build that roughly there. Okay. Two from the top, yep. So, so, these are for my prisoners. How big's the gap between three squares? What's three? Yeah, yeah three. Light that. Perfect. Now, the reason I'm not putting another one here is because then I wouldn't have enough space to sort of put the wall. Um, so it's going there instead but again I think that looks pretty good and as I say hopefully you guys think it looks good too uh, we're gonna speed up a little because otherwise it's gonna take them ages to build these and actually pause let's have a look at bureaucracy right they're all done that's excellent you know what, I want to unlock dogs and the armory as well, because I am going to need those. You're working on tax relief, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, that should be fine, so speed up once again. And my uh, guys have access to all bits of the prison. They just have to take a longer walk for some of them. <laughs> Now, obviously, one of these rooms is going to be visitation as well for the um, minimum security prisoners. Might do the same. It depends entirely on how much space I've got. Okay, too high gap. I put them in the wrong way around. If I want to do the same sort of thing, I'd need to start on this side. That work better. Why can't I build? Oh, because there's a tree stump there. Well, are you guys going to get rid of the tree stump? It's kind of in the way. We'll build around it for the moment. I am hoping my guys decide that they need to get rid of that at some point. This area is actually big enough, I might be able to fit a 
third area in. Hmm. That might work. So then we have a wall here to stop the prisoners getting out. And a wall. Oh no, we wouldn't need a wall, we'd need another visitor's table. Excellent. And obviously, we do need a wall there. And once that tree stump is moved, we can uh, hopefully put that other visitor's bench in. I can't believe that it won't let us because there's a tree stump. Like, can you move the tree stump, maybe? Wow, our uh, storage room is getting full. Are they all... Yeah, they're all light. Wow, okay. <laughs> Just go to show, you should be careful where you put light. But yeah, I think this visitation room... I like this one more than these. Um, but, you know... I think it just, it spaced out, it looks good. So, now I'm obviously going to need a door into this side of the visitation for the prisoners. So, there we go. Now, because the medium and the maximum security prisoners can get to their visitation rooms without going into the main building, I want to make sure visitation hours for them is sort of, well, I think visitation is always during the day, so I want to make sure when they're up for visitation, they're not in the main area, and the medium security guys are, because otherwise they won't be able to get to their visitation area. But having a centralised area does, provo uh, does provide some problems, logistically, <laughs> but we'll get to it eventually. You're not building all this stuff. I think they need more staff. There we go. I know that's putting us in, you know, a minus every day, but if it gets everything built quicker, it's probably worth it. Only just managing to build those. Okay. Right, now I'm going to need lights, obviously. If I get room by room done like this, then it means that I don't have to sort of worry about it later. Is it on the outer edge? Yeah, that is right. Now, I also want to put sprinklers in, because I really don't want a repeat of what happened uh, <laughs> during the last episode of my uh, Let's Play series. That that wasn't good. <laughs> I really don't want this prison burning down, so yeah. Uh, there will be good, I think. And it looks like that's been the tree stump that was there has moved now. It has, so that way, please, from that one. Now, obviously, I don't actually have power or anything to power the lights that I'm putting in, but we'll worry about that afterwards. Just 
just to light up the area a bit. There we go. We'll see what it looks like once I actually get power to it. And talking of power, I do not need any of this here anymore. So, dismantle all this lot and dismantle you. Until there we go. And demolish walls. All those that works. There we go. Because I don't want that one square bit there considered inside when the rest isn't. Lovely. So where are we actually going to put our power system? I'm thinking big building just here. And then I can sort of spread out the power lines like routes from there into the areas it needs to be. Sounds good to me. So, we want a generator. A square away. So, there. Square away. I'm going to go with four can't build one there, why? Maybe because of the trees? No idea. Uh, yeah, this... Oh, I went with... Um, I thought I went with brick there. Never mind. Okay, concrete. Um, let's stick in there, that dope. Should look good. Pause and obviously we need a door. Won't need to go in here often, so single door should be perfect. The reason I've put these three squares away from each other is because obviously when I add the capacitors, I don't want the capacitors touching. So, yeah. <laughs> Make this slightly smaller than I actually wanted it. Never mind. There we go. It's costing a lot, but if I get all of the capacitors and stuff done now, I don't have to worry about it later. Right. I love the capacitors getting added. Having this many stuff is a good thing sometimes. Okay, that's all been done. So, this area. If I run, both run across these walls here. should give most if not all of the rooms power. Then you pull off from there and head this way to that. Perfect. Now you, the middle one, can come off from there. This is what's going to supply power to all of these rooms. Okay. So we'll get all that built. Now I might have this third one also going down here to help power the main prison. Because obviously the main prison is going to have a lot, lot of stuff to power. It's going to have um, the work saws, it's going to have the, the cooking uh, cookers and freezers and stuff like that in the kitchens. 
So it is going to be doing quite a lot. So I might end up with two of them doing that. And in which case, I will probably cut this in half. And half of it will power from one and half will power from the other. And then as it goes down here, half and half again. In fact, that would probably be an idea to set up now so that it doesn't mech that doesn't mess up later. So add one extra to you, remove that wire. Right, you connect to there. Have that coming up. Down and connect to you. Yeah, that would probably be better actually. And then we'll have a fourth one powering this area. So then you will also be powering this side of the prison. And you will be powering this side of the prison. That should work. I think I can manage this. Okay, in which case we want another concrete building. Now, how big does this have to be? Uh, seven by seven to cover that. So, there we go. Just increase that by seven, please. It is going to take them a while to lay all the cables. I have asked them to put a lot of cables in. I'm going to ask him to put even more in in a second. So, from the edge, although, let's just take it from the quickest path. Yeah. And that one is pulled from. a lot. <laughs> I've already spent like 400k. Wow. Not really surprising considering I am building like a full prison from scratch and hopefully it will work without going bang in the first five minutes. I'm really hoping it works without going bang in the first five minutes. <laughs> would be bad if it all went completely wrong. Uh, I think we need even more staff. I want this built as quickly as possible so that I can continue to build. Otherwise, all that's going to happen is I'm just going to stall out and... I mean, yeah, it's going to cost us a lot a day, but... Hopefully we can get the, pro uh, the prison built. Now... This room, I suppose, can just connect... Here. I won't be taxing the generators going into the individual cell blocks as much as I will be taxing the two going into the main area. So, although why is there still foundations like there's a building there? I thought I demolished it. No, doesn't seem like it comes up. Oh well, never mind not that much of an annoyance. I'll hardly ever see it. Uh, but yeah, I need some light in this room. Won't go crazy with them, but we want some, at least. Oh, I've just had a thought as well. My workmen, do they need 
rest and stuff like that? Or until I open the prison, do they not need their needs met? I have no idea. Oh look, we've got some power going on. They've connected up one of the generators then. Yeah, I have no idea how the staff needs actually work in this regard. Like, does it wait until the prison's open? Anyway, that's enough light in that room. I can actually see what's going on. still laying all the cable down there. I love how it all goes a different colour as well, that's awesome. <laughs> so you can see like this one's the green power, that one's the sort of yellow one, more aqua. Uh, I'm obviously going to need another one of you here. Yep, yeah, just there. With capacitors all over. Thank you. But there we go. So that'll pr provide power to my prison. Right. We can actually set these up as well as the visitation rooms. We may as well. security, oh sorry, medium security, your minimum security, your maximum security. They shouldn't ever have a reason to go in there. I could make these access only so that the prisoners don't go and try and clean them or anything. Then again I could also make them staff only. Yeah that works. Because I believe you know people visiting the prison will still be able to enter those areas. And it looks like, yep, all of the power and stuff has been built. So I'll pause so we don't waste money while we work out what we're building next. But yeah, as I say, I, I really like the way they look. Um, so you are going to be my max security. You're going to be my medium security. And all of this is going to be staff only. I suppose I could make these staff only as well. Obviously this is going to be the reception. So let's put that in. Okay, so you need an office desk, a chair, tables. Oh, just too big. Oh well. But once they've built those, that will class. Come on, put the desk in. Lovely. So that now classes as the reception room. I'm also going to need lights in there. Lovely. Probably more lights than it needs, but. I don't care. So, what is this room going to be? Uh, I was thinking export, wasn't I? Yeah. I think that still works as the exports room. We'll need a 
jail door into it though. That side, so yeah, we'll put it this side. Just so we've got all the doors in the same sort of place. Okay. And once again, I am going to need some lights in there. So that looks good. Let's build the cells, or at least some parts of the cell blocks. Okay. Now obviously I'm going to need solitary doors. that. Might as well add them down here at the same time. And, oh, that's something that I've just made a mistake on. All those walls. Keep forgetting I'm working in concrete, not brick. <laughs> right. Concrete wall. This is one of the first prisons I've made using just concrete, so yeah. That's better. I did use it there, yeah. No, it is the same price. There we go, look. Starting to build. Uh, I also want to build at least one cell on both sides so that I can then copy it. Now let's just build that wall for the moment. And also build the cell on this side so once again I can copy it. Right. Leave them to work for the moment. Coming along nicely. Yeah, everything's connected up via power now. Awesome. Looks good. Should work okay. Now, do I have regime? See, because I have no prisoners yet, I've only got one regime set. So, eventually I will change that so we have all the different ones, but... Okay, there's the luxury cells done, so, quick builds. Awesome, it didn't try and change what was the walls, so, there we go. And basic cell. Oh, it would want to put the door on the other side, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, well, the basic cell I can just build myself, it's not exactly hard. So, we want normal jail door, normal bed, and a toilet. 
And because I'm not evil, I'm not putting the seat of the toilet next to, like, their pillow. Because that's just cruel, really. Awesome. Right, the planning, I can get rid of those squares, because otherwise they'll never disappear. I can lock these. You know what? I'm actually not going to bother locking these open. I'm just going to see what happens with them as they are. See if the logic's got any better than it used to be. Uh, we do not need as many workmen as we've got now. Well, most of them are just standing around doing nothing, so... There we go. We'll have 15 workmen for the moment. Right, now I am going to clone this room. Has got everything built in it, so yeah. deal with plumbing at some point, but we'll do that eventually. Oh, they're, they're classed as cells. So. so, see these are an 8, which I think is pretty good, and these are just going to be like a 1. So, yeah. I think that works out quite well. So we want to clone these rooms. And this is where I'm putting so many foundations and things like that down that I probably could have done with the extra workmen that I just sacked. <laughs> oh, I always think ahead, me. There we go. Lovely. Loads of cells. Right, now I just need that one for here. Oh damn it, what has happened there? Just cancel everything to do with that. That's it, right. Quick build. Clone. Grab that again. be very careful with the clone tool that you click where you actually want to start building. There we go. That's better. Right, and I need to clone that room for this. I'm gonna leave the episode off here guys so please like comment and subscribe let me know if you are enjoying what's happening let me know if you want me to sort of open the prison quickly or if you want to just continue to see me build for the minute and then open it at the end um, obviously we're far from getting to the point where we could open even if I wanted to we don't have a canteen or anything and wow that is a lot of stuff my god there's so much stuff 
<laughs> I need a bigger room. Uh, right, yeah, anyway, I'm going to say goodbye there, guys. So, catch you next time.